Okay, this is just going to be a quick little video showing you how to set up a, a PS3 controller to your Android powered phone so you can play your emulators with a real gamepad. I know you can do it with the Wii, but to have a full set of buttons to use and everything, you have to attach a classic controller or use a nunchuck and everything, and it's just not as easy as using a six axis controller. Um, first things first, you need to be rooted. So if your phone is not rooted, go ahead and search YouTube, there's lots of tutorials on there. Now we're going to go to the market and download the 6 Access Compatibility Checker. Just download it and install it. And then launch it. Gives you a little um, welcome screen and important this app will check your device for compatibility if compatible your phone's bluetooth address will appear at the bottom of the screen and the dialog box will confirm compatibility if you do not receive both of these your device is currently incompatible just tap ok and then select start it'll ask you for super user uh, rights just say allow and uh, click on remember and hopefully you get this it says your device appears to be supported to be sure you you should try connecting your controller before continuing you must set its master address to and then there's my bluetooth address um, make sure you write that down and then we switch over to the computer and launch the six access pair tool so i'm going to do that right now um, i'll be back in a second okay now we need to download the um six access pair tool so you're going to go to dancingpixelstudios.com and then click on six access controller and then on the left hand side six access pair tool and download the version that uh, goes with your operating system it supports linux mac and windows i have windows it's about a 10 meg file shouldn't take too long now run the installation. Just accept the defaults. It needs some C++ files. I already have them installed, so it asks, um, the Microsoft installer asked me if I want to remove them or repair them. I'm just going to press cancel. You should just let it install them. And then just click finish. Now you need to run the 6-axis pair tool it'll say current master and um, when you plug your controller in it should find a bluetooth address this is usually your playstation 3 um, bluetooth address but mine is set to my phone already what you're going to do is you're going to click on change master and you're going to type in your bluetooth address from your android phone once you have it typed in click update and then close it now you're all set um, now it's time to switch back over to the Android OS and I'll show you how to set up and map your keys to your emulators. Okay, now we're back in the uh, Android world. Go back into the market and you're going to uninstall the compatibility checker. And then you're going to go back home and you're going to disable your Bluetooth. Now go back into the market. And type in 6-axis again. And then you want the actual 6-axis controller app. It's like a dollar twenty-seven, so just purchase it. And install it.
and then select open. It says the six access controller must be enabled in language and keyboard settings to use the six access. Change settings now, select yes. And then you're going to go, it'll bring up the uh, menu. You're going to scroll down to six access controller and you're going to enable it. It'll warn you that it can um, collect the keys and stuff that you type in. Just say OK. Then click on the six access, six access controller settings below the actual um, six access controller. And then select bypass IME and put a check mark on it. Press back. Press back again. And then press start. It'll ask you for super user permissions. Say allow. It'll say successfully configured Bluetooth. And now you're just going to grab your PlayStation 3 controller and press the PlayStation button on it. And it'll connect. It says client connected 1. Now just press home and you can launch one of your emulators. I'll just launch MAME. And then I'm going to go into options and then settings. Then go into define keys. And where it says stick up, tap it and then push the controller button that you want to use. Do the same for the rest of the buttons. Okay, now that everything's mapped, just press back. And then go down to portrait display settings. Uncheck touch controller visible. And the same for landscape. I press back. And don't press exit. <laughs> And don't press that button either. I press the uh, B button, by the way, to get to the game I want to use. Just select it. You all know how to use MAME. Put in my coin and press start. And as you can see, hopefully, I'm using my six axis controller and playing MAME via HDMI out. It's almost like having a console. Uh, this is something I forgot to tell you guys. Um, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set your uh, default input method in the um, settings of your Android phone. If you don't do this, um, whenever you exit your emulators, it'll continue to use the um, PlayStation 3 gamepad as your default input and it'll cause some crazy things. So to do that, you need to go to the home button, then settings, then language and keyboard, then scroll down to six access controller settings and select default input method and select your keyboard that you use. Once that's done, as soon as you disconnect from the six axis pair tool, it'll switch back to your regular keyboard.